Okay, Ayush, you had a question about this uh, problem. The figure, the, there are ideal batteries. E1 has an EMF of 5.0 volts. E2 has an EMF of 12 volts. The resistances, there are five of them, and they are 2.0 ohms each. And the question here is, what is the potential here at V1? Now you can see that it is uh, the circuit is grounded at one of these points. Now what the ground does, it does not change any of the currents really inside the circuit. What it, the only effect it has is to make the uh, potential of every component that's connected to it, every point that's connected to it, to be zero. So all this part of the circuit that's connected directly to ground has a potential zero. So what it does is it allows us to calculate the absolute potential of any point in the circuit, whereas the loop law would only actually allow us to find the relative potential, yeah? so the potential differences. Once we've grounded it, it allows us to find the actual potential at the various points. So we're going to uh, uh, do this by, first and foremost, we will remove the ground because all it does is uh, change the absolute potentials and we're going to uh, perform our analysis using the loop rule. So using the loop rule, uh, first of all we find the equivalent resistance <coughs> for R3 and R4. So R3 and R4 are connected in parallel. So when you apply, uh, you find the equivalent resistance, you will get it to be equal to 1 ohm. Now we assume that the current is flowing in the circuit in this clockwise direction. Okay, and we start with V2. So V2 moving up across the first battery, we get plus E1. Across the first resistance, minus IR1. Across the second resistance, minus IR2. Across this parallel combination, the equivalent, minus IR3 parallel 4. Across this second battery in the opposite direction, so minus E2 across the fifth resistance minus IR1 and we come back to V2. So that is our Kirchhoff's loop rule. Rearranging things we get I is equal to E1 minus E2 by R1 plus R2 plus R3 parallel 4 plus R5 and plugging in the values I get 5 minus 12 divided by 2 plus 2 plus 1 plus 2 which is minus 1 amperes. Now we just go from this point which I've marked Vg to V1 and we proceed in the same manner okay, and we're using the equivalent resistance R3 parallel 4 here so Vg minus IR3 parallel 4 minus E2 would be equal to V1 and so plugging in the values Vg remember it's the ground potential so that is 0 minus i r3 parallel 4 but i is minus 1 r3 parallel 4 is 1 and then minus e2 which will give me minus 11 volts 